In this demo program, we again use a sequential search. Uh, in this case, we're searching through an array named numbers. Its a length is 5, and it's being filled here with random integers between 1 and 50. I'm going to change the, the 1 in the srand uh, uh, function parameter. I'm going to change it to time null so that we uh, uh, have interesting random numbers uh, each time that we run the program. You'll see in my uh, lecture notes uh, that if you hard code a 1 in there, you'll get the same random numbers over and over again. Let's uh, run this program with that change and check it out. Program runs. It generated random numbers, and the maximum value in that array was 47. Okay, And the next time we run the program, this time the maximum number was 29, which we see is in position 4. The next time I run the program, the maximum value is 46, which was uh, in the middle of the array. And so uh, we see that the algorithm uh, works. Let's uh, inspect the algorithm to understand why. In this demo program, again, we're using a sequential search that uses a for loop that cycles, uh, traverses around the array over and over again, i++. Plus pluses. And instead of checking to see if numbers i equals key, we just check to see if numbers i is greater than max value. Well, max value is initialized at zero. And each time around the for loop, we're checking to see if the biggest number in the array is bigger than zero. Let's fill out, let's pretend that we have these numbers in the array. The first time around the for loop, i is zero, so we check to see if 23 is bigger than max value. Well, 23 is bigger than zero. So the variable max value is set equal to 23. This if statement was true, so we do execute this line of code. So max value, the first time around the for loop, changed from zero to 23. The second time around the for loop, we're checking to see if 11 is greater than max value. Well, 11 is not bigger than 23. So this line of code is ignored. I++ plus pluses, and we check to see if 45 is greater than max value. Well, 45 is bigger than 23. So that 23 is overwritten with a 45. And the next time around the for loop, the 2 is compared to the max value, and it's not greater. So nothing happens. And the last time around the for loop, i plus pluses and it and, uh, becomes 4, and the 18 numbers i at that point is 18, and that is not bigger than uh, 45. So the program C outs. The max value in the array is max value, which at that point in the program is still this 45. A sequential search that in sequence checks every number of the array from left to right and it sweeps through there and is guaranteed to find the biggest number because of this greater than uh, max value algorithm.